I'm Dave. I'm Steve. I'm Dad. And I'm Son. Welcome to another episode of DJ Projects, episode six there. This week at DJ Projects, it's a little bit different. We actually start on the job we're proceeding with. So you'll get to see that in a minute. It's going to be grab work. Hopefully. We'll have Mighty White back this week. Lads have done some additional forklift training. They're going to be concreting like mad this week to build them stock levels back up. And the ladies are in the office are doing a splendid job as always. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Comment down below, like and subscribe. As I just mentioned, we're on the site. We're having an early start on this one. I've done a couple of grabs. Stevie's done a quick delivery. The lads have made a start already. What's happening with this job? Well, it's fencing galore. We have got hedges to rip out, we've got hedges to slop in, and we've got fencing to put in, and we've got a digger on site. Not our digger, we've had to hire one. So Dad is thinking about buying a digger though. Yeah. So, <laughs> <Tell him that>. <laughs> <laughs> he did say maybe we need a bigger digger. That man must be made of money. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you like this video, we get 5,000 likes, you might help us towards that yeah. digger. Yeah, and then you guys can help support the NJ projects by buying us a digger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. yeah, jokes aside, we've got a digger on site, so you're going to see some action with the digger. Steve's going to do a bit of action with the digger. I am. Um, uh, probably Jordan is, because Jordan could drive one as well. But yeah, it's going to be an action-packed week this week. So what we're going to do, we're going to rip this hedge out here. We're ripping them conifers out at the bottom. And where the conifers have been trimmed back, they are stopping in. This is a free size of fencing all different heights it's going to be stepping down going flat we haven't decided what we're going to be doing at the bottom the customer's going to let us know when we get to that stage when the conifers are down because it have got a fantastic view from here an absolutely fantastic view it's a bit cloudy today i don't yeah. know where the sun's gone you can't really see it guys it's trying to rain but the reason they want the view they've had an extension at the house we'll show you a little bit later when it's a bit more private and they've got a great great window looking out that way but they don't want to look down onto the other neighbors and then they want they don't want the other neighbors looking up obviously everyone wants a bit of privacy there. so the plan is to sort of like say what my dad says drop 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 somewhere around about here maybe start leveling off level across level step up again that is the plan We'll see if the plan obviously comes to fruition at the end of the week. But we won't know until we've ripped them conifers out what the situation was with the neighbour. Yeah, so. I think it's a little bit lower down there, quite a bit lower, but we've got to be careful. But uh, we'll find out when obviously Dad's on the digger. Yeah, first job, I've got to do a bit of ripping out so the lads can make a start. Steve is going to be grabbing it on, dragging it round. So yeah, it's going to be action packed. We've got the digger for a week, I believe. We've hired yeah. it for a week. But yeah, let's get these roots are in the van. On the grab. <laughs> on the grab, yeah. You've got me saying van now. <laughs> so Jordan's trying to take my job. He wants the easy one, don't he? He's seen this nightmare of a job. That Jordan wants the grab. But all this is coming out as well, guys. Out to the neighbours, clarified what we're doing, what's going where, what heights are going where. As you can see, Jordan, it just started to load it up. That's what we like to see. Rather than standing around and not doing anything and waiting for me and my dad to finish messing around with the film, he jumped on the grub. That's what we like to see. Dad's just going to rip these two conifers out because where they've been painted with the yellow paint, they're the ones that are coming out. And then these four bays, it might be a bit windy, guys, of course, we're in a wind trap. These four bays are going to sit level at the same height. So this one was sitting around about this height, going to sit that height all the way there for four bays. Well, we're all trying to take cover because out of nowhere, this just came out. Crazy. Not what I was expecting, not what we was wanting. So we'll let this pass. I think we'll catch back up. It's raining cats and dogs. <laughs> yeah, it's raining cats and dogs. Just took cover for five minutes. Waste time getting wet. It's meant to be showers all day today. But yeah, why we've got you, we'd like to say a massive, 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 massive thank you from the bottom of all the team me and Steve uh, the ladies in the office, lads in the concrete yard, for supporting the channel, liking, commenting, sharing. It's unbelievable. And I'd like to say a massive thank you on behalf of Chris, professional struggler, mm. because you've gone over there and you supported his channel and you've liked it and just unbelievable the support we're getting. So yeah, thank you very, very much. But with that said, is it slowing down? 
I think we can do something in that, guys, because we can't sit in here all day, can we? I think we should crack on. Yeah, let's get cracked on. The lads not like it, but let's get cracked on. <laughs> Uh, it's not a good start. So there's the dodgy one, aren't there? Oh, it doesn't bloody hell. Let's go back on red, doesn't it? Oh, no. It's got a full tank as well, guys. For anyone says, has it got uh, fuel? It does have a full tank. I checked that earlier. I don't understand that, Joe. Obviously, the UK have been told we have got to use white diesel now. They've banned us from using red diesel. Yeah, if you're on a farm, I believe you can still use it. Oh, but I think farm and. Is it circus? Oh, fair enough. It's circus as well. But we can't. And uh, Digger's just died on us. I'll bring it up. I'm Try and get it on camera. Can you hear it, guys? That's on full rev. Not ideal. We'll catch up with you. I look at people and I wonder all day Who are you and you and I the one in your way And then I think about myself and I stay I'm a pretty boy Right, we're having a right rubbish day. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that's our big window as well, guys. That's why they want the view. But everything else is out now. Dad's just scraping away now because we we can't really judge the level for our first gravel board because this is all gonna be blocked. So we need our gravel board low enough so that when the beam blocked, the gravel board isn't too high, so the blocks have to go like that. We want it to be like that. That's the plan anyway, so that's just going to scrape this out of our way and then we can continue to crack on. The plan for these two bays is to be seven foot tall overall, give or take, from that bay there. We don't want the neighbour to look over. So over there it's going to be a bit taller and then the neighbour won't be able to see here. This customer won't be able to see the neighbour either. These two bays will match at the height, we'll drop it down, two bays to match height again. So that's the plan guys, once we get this bay in, we'll crack back on. Yeah. And there we have our first bay. You don't think we're leaving it like that, do you? Come on guys, I know you don't think we're leaving it like that. So, the reason we've done this, may as well explain, haven't we? We've got two gravel boards, we had a gravel board on, that's the customer, which prefer two gravel boards and a smaller panel one gravel board and a taller panel they've gone with the option of the one gravel board and the taller panel bearing in mind you see how this ground is here guys you see how it's a little bit closer to the panel it's not going to be that high because we're going off the course there the two courses down pretty much where that block work goes to on the edge there because all of this is going to be done which is at the same level as the drain so we've had the gravel board go below that level just slightly so when all of this is dug up, because this is way too high, as you can see, it will be a lot lower for when the block work comes. So don't worry about all of the soil near the panel. It's not going to matter. Reason I'm going for this height on the post is so that when the neighbour stands right there, can't see over. And as he steps down, he still can't see over. So it's private for our customer and it's private for the neighbour. Because remember, guys, there's always two sides to a fence. So because we've had to go off that one there, those blocks right there, it's either two and a bit gravel boards, one and a bit gravel board, and a normal size panel or it's a gravel board and a custom size panel and seeing as we make all of our panels ourselves and we can customize any size we need customer is happy to have a taller panel so it's just over six foot so rather than having a six by six it's like a that's 72 inches it's like say 74 75 inches so rather than spend 20 minutes 15 minutes 10 minutes cutting that gravel board down to size wasting a blade on the steel saw wherever she is just down there and all that dust suppression for no need, we may as well just get a panel made. That's the beauty of it. 
well, that's the reason we're doing it anyway, guys. So hopefully that sorts that out for you. This next bait is going to be the exact same height as well. So it will be measured up all at the same height. That's the plan. Jordan's been busy messing around with Pike Camphor. That's why his hands are hurting. And the hedge is now coming out, as you can see. It looks like it's putting up a bit of a fight. Digger seems to be working anyway. No? Digger's not working. So, oh yeah, Digger's working. Edge isn't playing ball. Uh, it looks like it's... Um, and the compressor's broken the unit. Yeah, and the grab wasn't working earlier, so the it's... Broke. Something's not having a good day. I'm not having a very good day at all. I'm having a nightmare of a day. Yeah, sometimes you're having no guys. Not going to plan. Exactly. It's coming up to three o'clock and we've only just got one bay in. We're not having the best day ourselves. A lot of prep work is going into this garden here. And still no Mighty White. No Mighty White. That is not a good sign. No, it's not looking like we're going to get back tomorrow either. Yeah, so it's not good that, guys. Not good at all. Jordan's brought gifts from the customer. He's brought us out some Twixers and some chocolate bars. And me Dodgers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the <Jimmy> Dodgers. <laughs> right, I'll tell you what we'll do, guys. Me and Ant will set you up for a time lapse and you can watch us do this next bait. Unconventional way of doing fencing because looking at it right there, it's very different, ain't it, guys? Not gonna lie, it's not been easy, has it, mate? Oh, this has not. been bloody, bloody hard. It's half past three, it's two bays in. We're not happy, eh? but it is what it is, right? Lads have been smashing it down there, keep on going down, and Dad's going over on that second pass that he mentioned now to get the rest of the roots out. Got to do it, he'd love to got it out on the first time, it's just not working. So at least he's doing it on the second time. I'm not sure if I've shown you guys this, but the string line is running down as close to the conifers that we can get it. So when the fence runs down there, it'll be nice and close to those conifers. It's a, it's an odd one, this guys. It's an odd one. me and Aunt, uh, because my dad and Jordan they're leaving us Doing a disappearing, act. disappearing act I think they're gonna go and tip that off there I think they've got some hardcore to do as well so I guess they've got a busy one I'm not sure if dad's gonna be filming if he will obviously we'll see those clips me and Aunt, we may as well film one more bay for the day with a big mouth, listen for the doubt, then call it. Make you out for what you say to me. Look at every single need. If you got what I need, then oh, I'll take you on like a big deal. Eggs you can unfill. Keep ignition. Just keep me full. I got a meal. So I was going to put this one in, guys, but we're leveling off with this gravel board here. So this gravel board's got to match this gravel board, but it would be too high. So we can either dig a one foot trench, which is obviously the gravel board, or we can just come back tomorrow, which we are doing with a six inch gravel board and just dig a little six inch trench, which is pretty much already there. So that's what we're going to do rather than waste time and energy digging a gravel board trench that you're definitely not going to see. Just use the six inches that are made for this purpose. So what we're going to do, we're going to tidy up all the area, put all the tools away, empty the van because we've still got some stuff on the van and then we will be back here tomorrow to continue with this mammoth fencing job that'll look so much better as well when we get the actual size panels in because right now not gonna lie it looks a little bit mismatched so then guys we're back at the yard what a rubbish day feels like it's just a rubbish day for progress do any of you guys ever have days like that where nothing goes to plan everything's taking forever let us know in the comments down below if you've ever had days like that. Oh, hiccup, sorry. If you've ever had days like that, I think it was our turn to have a day like that. So I think we'll see you bright and early in the morning for a more productive day. See you in the morning, guys. So good morning, guys, and welcome back to another day at DJ Projects. It is Tuesday. 
and we're back on the job. It's bloody, bloody windy today. It would be windy out when me and Ant have had to do some panel replacements. It was blowing all over like sails at sea. Crazy. But this is what it's looking like right now. We're happy with that. Very happy with that. Privacy for both sets of neighbours. Very, very happy. And now we're on to this bit right here. Another sort of step. Not too much of a crazy step, but a step indeed. It's going to be quite good running down there. Hopefully we can get, oh, we'd love to get to the end, but I'm not sure that we're going to get to the end because it's taking forever. Well, it's looking not too shabby. That must be said. Just this bit down here. So we'll crack on with this bay here. We'll do it with these magic fingers. I wish it was this easy. And then we have our next bay, our next drop. So we've got a one foot drop, a one foot drop, double gravel board. This one's going to take a couple of gravel boards as well. I'm thinking a gravel board level, maybe even have to do three gravel boards on here or a six inch gravel board to start off with. Because as you can see, it really steps down now. That step we'll deal with this one, big step. So we're going to need more gravel boards. So I think we'll set up for a time lapse and get it cracked on. Waves. Not sure how long that time lapse was on, guys, but what we've been doing, we've been digging this trench here. It's a deep one, it was all luck, very deep. And it's put a lot of effort into that, so he's gonna go and treat himself to a coffee. Customers made us one. Nah, we can dig our hole, get a grow board in there. Probably one, two. Might be two gravel boards this one, I'm not sure. Maybe even three, we'll see. But uh, yeah, it's coming along. Too shabby that very happy hopefully it gets a little bit easier here eh? i dare say of course we're going to hit roots galore but the trenches haven't got to be so bad so we're six foot falls say here we've only got to skim it across to get the level now not sure what i'm going to do with the heights yet because we can't be doing fencing that tall all the way down bloody hell we only quoted for six foot um yeah, six foot overall. So we've got to bring it down eventually, haven't we? We haven't done a normal size bay yet. So I think it's it's almost time to bring it down to that normal size bay because the garden is going to be at two different levels anyway. I think there's going to be a brick steps and all sorts going up to a separate level. There's your high level. This has got to be a lower level to start matching across the back just there because no point having that at normal. And then this bloody up there is there. That just wouldn't look right. Gonna have a couple minutes now because customers got us a sausage sandwich, I believe, or bacon and egg sandwich. So we'll grab them and then we'll crack back on. Customers looking after us. Definitely looking after us. A few more bodies here now. It's a good view, ain't it? So we've got Jordan taking the conifers up to my dad now. He's walking all the way up there. He's taking it to the grab. Me and Ant have just done this one. Customers asked us to get this one level because he's having something built out. And this will be the last drop off before the garden drops down to a different level. So that's what we've done. We've made this one nice and level for the customer. Now, again, we need to drop down. We cannot keep running down. Run, yeah, la, la, la. Speak, Stevie. We cannot keep running at that level now. We've got to drop down a bit and then probably again and then again. And then it is being eight foot across the back for privacy for both sets of neighbours. Again, sorry for the wind, guys. It's crazy windy up here, as you can tell. Look how high we are. We're on a wind trap, definitely. We're getting somewhere. 
We've got a bit of progress there. It's looking very good, to be honest. And now, another bay around about where Ant is. So yeah, let's do it. Another one bites the dust. Beautiful. Looking good, that. These lads doing, eh? Making a mess. What a mess that is needed. I tell you what, when we put the fence in there, we've got a job and off, haven't we? We've got a job and off here. Every time I go to film, the wind picks up, which is bloody typical. But we are in a wind trap, so we can't moan. Right, what's the plan? So, me and Ant, we've put this last bay in. We've put a six foot bay in. The first one of the day, first one of the job. I can't believe it, we actually got to a six foot bay. Right. What's the plan now then? So, we are gonna go to around about a six inch and a full size, two gravel boards, two and a bit, maybe three, maybe two and a bit again, because we're just gonna run level off at this height now, because even though the garden's on a slant and a slope now, a lot of it is being pulled back. So this bit is being leveled off from this area here. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna run level across now, That'll give us a nice height at the end. It should look quite nice. Some would say not too shabby. I don't know who would say it, but some would say not too shabby. We haven't got a tall enough post for this one because we're going to need around about a nine foot post, I believe. But what we can do, we can dig the hole. We can dig the trench. We can put the gravel boards on. We can put the panel on. We can get set up, can't we, mate? We can make it ready and easier for tomorrow. Well, I don't think that's a bad day's worth of fencing. We did three yesterday, terrible day, and now we've done... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven bees, and only one of them is standard. Definitely, definitely happy with that. Put some graft in today, me and Aunt have, and my dad and Jordan. I don't know if they've been filming when they've been on the grabs. If they have, you would have saw some clips. But looking around, we've got some fencing to go, mate, haven't we? We've got some fencing to go. But uh, we'll get all prepped up, and then we'll catch up and show you how we're leaving this job. So uh, we did have a post with a sneaky nine foot hiding. I think we're good at what we do. Definitely good at what we do. But I'm thinking that's enough from me and Ant today. We've had a good day. We have had a very good day. Hopefully an even better day tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning. Me and Jord are in the grab. Jordan's just sorting tickets out now. We're taking Rosestone out to BP Paving. We're get, taking a bit of decking out to Mark Anderson, our good friend who gets the bloody wood stuff. Yeah. <laughs> And we've got to grab a way to do, and we've got to get back on that big, disgusting fencing job. No one is liking it at the minute. It is tough, hard, and Mighty White is back today. So we've got Mighty White to pick up, and it's new car day. Comment down below what car I have swapped my car for. I know what you lot are going to think, but I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at what I've swapped it for. Yes, the BMW is going. So yeah, we'll show you that today. Let's me and Jordan head off get this road zone gone, get the decking gone, get the grab on, get that gone, get on that fencing job. So that's decking all job, 21 boards at 3.8. We have got a clear bed. Now it's the grab. We drop that one off, the decking as you've just seen. We've just done a grab. It was the tightest and tightest of roads. I'm had to block the road. So I didn't video it, I just got it on. It's on the back. We are just now picking half a ton of limestone up from a previous job from Lucky. And then we're gonna nip over to my next door neighbor where I've been working at weekends, helping my next door neighbor do his drive. We'll have two drives out near my ass. So yeah, I'll be upsetting the neighbors up there in a minute. Right then, picking this bag up. Who remembers this job? This was the grid system for Lucky. That bag's on holding. They must've dragged it down there, put a hole in it. We had a spare bag on the back. We just picked it up, that's gone all in. Now we've got to grab it and just dump it. So, it's gonna be one of them days, isn't it, George? It's gonna be definitely one of them days. So yeah, let's get this grabbed, carry on with our day. Hold on, see where it's spilt, we swept up, pushed the remainder over there. Yeah, look, he stitched us up, honey, mate. Yeah, sweat on the morning. On to the next. That's what I've been doing here, I've been digging his garden out, well, his driveway out. We did all the footings for this, so made up that load with some of that there. I've got another pile at the front he's grabbing. When Mighty White comes, we'll get that bit and this bit. But let's get this over to Oakfield and get tipped off. So good morning, guys, and welcome back to another day at D&J Projects. It is Wednesday. We've made some good progress yesterday that you have saw on the video. And now we're about to make in some more progress down there. But first, before we do that, little slight change of the job, let's just show you. So the plan was 
to run two, step down, step down to the height of the conifer, step one more and then run all the way across. Sort of still happening. That bay there is at the right height. Customer just wants to know if we can bring this one up now to the level of that one. So we'll have two level, two level. So what we got to do? Well, post is already set. Got to break that out and take that out. Take all these gravel boards off, take that panel off. We can keep that post in because it's still at six foot intervals. It should be in the same place. We need a six inch gravel board, two one foot gravel boards, probably matching up to there, maybe even three gravel boards so we can run that one across. But yeah, we're going to sort all this out with the magic fingers and then we can continue down there. And there we have it. We've got those two level. We've got this one stepping down how it was. It took us around about an hour. We said it would take about an hour to get this in. Two bays basically, starting from fresh again. Nah, it's like we've just turned up and we're starting down here. Albeit we're a little bit tired, a little bit sweaty. But it is what it is. Customers made us a coffee. I think we'll have that and then we'll continue there, guys. the dust i was gonna start singing then but i thought better not <laughs> look at this though how good is that looking two level two level two level the step where it was a nasty drop two level two level come on guys you can't ask for much more you want the best fencing give dnj projects a call only if you're in the nottingham area though because we're not traveling no more <laughs> jobs are taking too long just like this one but right What's the plan? I keep saying that, but I keep having to tell you because you like to know what we're doing. So, Ant's starting to dig the hole here. We've got to dig a trench here down to around about that level there. So we're having three gravel boards here matching off. There'll be three leveled here. There'll be a smaller bait there. So from there to around about there, you see where that line is? Running all the way down. We're keeping a few of the conifer bases, uh, speak, a few of the conifer bases in the trunks rather than taking them out like this because it is holding the whole bank back from falling away. We don't want to be messing around with that, do we, guys? So we've set up this line to go in line with those conifers just there. It's a bit of a mess because it looks like next door or someone, not putting a blame to anyone, has been filling in with rubbish over the time, over the years. Oh, look at it, guys. Not being funny, but absolute rubbish everywhere. We won't be cleaning all of that up because that is not what we've done. We haven't done that. That's not our job. We are the fence installers, aren't we, guys? Yeah. Let's get this next one in. Magic fingers time. Bay's not in, as you can see, because we've arrived. This is where the lines go in. I do not believe they'll get that line. When I was digging this out, it's just made up ground. These are stopping there. We're cutting them off near enough level. They're holding that ground back. But yeah, it's not ideal. It's not going to be the easiest fencing job, this isn't. But I've come to get the digger, bring it down here and start dragging this level so we can see what we've got. Jordan will pull the bricks out, see if we can get some decent soil, somewhere we can put posts into. Someone's looking after us again. Look at that. Oh, we love that. Thank you very much, guys. And they got us a Costa earlier. Really but this is what it's looking like. How about you, mister? You probably went to Dave. Not too shabby indeed, guys. Very happy with this. I think it's three and a half gravel boards now because the ground dips away a little bit here. It comes back up, so that's fine. But right here, it's a little bit like that. So rather than build it up, we'll just put a gravel board in there. So I'm going to head back to the yard, get a few more gravel boards because seeing as we're using three per bay, we're running out faster than we are on the panels and the posts. I'm also going to get some 12 foot posts. We only need them at 11 foot, so we'll cut a foot off. I actually sell them in the 11 foot. I'm not sure why. Maybe my dad can explain that. I need to get some posts, get a gravel board, have a little snack, and we'll catch back up when we are back. But let us know in the comments what you're thinking to this one. Now that's a fence. <laughs> Looking good, isn't it, guys? We keep cracking on. Time for a post, and there we have a post sitting pretty, sitting nice, very nice.
just coming up to four o'clock not sure we'll get another bay in but we can definitely dig a hole so we'll get the hole in if we do another bay we'll let you know and we'll catch back up probably put it on time lapse but if we don't do a bay we'll catch back up towards the end of the day so i said we'd catch up and let you know what we've done well we've only gone and done another bay haven't we can't help ourselves it's quarter to five now about to leave head back to the yard yeah and we'll be back here tomorrow so unless my dad's filmed anything or anything extra we're gonna see it now if not see us in the morning bright and early for another day at dnj hopefully you're enjoying what you're seeing so far guys if you are why not like this video subscribe if you're brand new and definitely comment down below see you tomorrow well, that's me now jordan's gonna stop here give the lads a hand I'm going to tip the grab off, pick the car up, pick Mighty White up, and then we'll be back over to this job. So yeah, don't forget to have a guess down below what car you think I've got. But yeah, a little bit sad to see uh, the 3 Series go. I really like that 3 Series, but uh, I don't know if it's an upgrade or downgrade. Oh, it's an upgrade. Do you reckon? It's an upgrade, yeah. Jordan said it's an upgrade. I don't know. It's not my first choice of car. Oh, that's giving it away a bit though, isn't it? But yeah, you'll see soon. So there it is. Probably the last time we'll see this. Well, it will be the last time we'll see this, definitely. <laughs> it's going, it's gone, sold. Really nice car, nice spec. I'll show you, I'll go and get the keys and I'll show you the inside. So here it is inside. Really, really nice. Nice spec, leather, heated seats. Got lots of toys. But yeah, it's going. So let's take it and see what we get. Just waiting. Keeping us waiting. There we have it, guys. That's what we've got. We've gone back to an SUV. It's a 40D X Drive spec. Is a little bit better than the 3 Series I had. Just a couple of little bits I weren't happy with. I just sorted it. It did have silver grills. I like black grills. They've ordered these, so they're going to be changed. But yeah, I bet none of you guessed it would be one of these. When we get back to the yard, we'll show you more. So, she's back. Mighty White is back. She has got her crane test done on an hour. So now she is fully serviced. She's had a PMI. She's got to put the indicators back on the wheels. I don't know why they haven't done that, but we'll stick them back on. Yeah, she's back. Back and we mean business. Yes, we do. So we'll be getting this one to work. We're going to get the graphics done on it. We're probably going to get a bit of sandblasting done on the back door. We don't know yet whether we're going to or not. But yeah, now we're going to get the graphics booked in. But yeah, we can get her to work now. We can use her now. So yeah, me and Stevie will be on grab work. So then, I ain't shown you yet. I've just been training in the gym. I didn't realise the time, it's late. So I've just been training in the gym. Let's grab these keys. I think a lot of you would have guessed a certain type of car. I don't know. But I don't you would have guessed a certain type of car. I don't believe anyone could have got it right. So here it is. It is. I said earlier. BMW X6. X Drive 40D. Very, very similar to the 3 Series on the inside. Keyless entry. It's got some cool features cup holders, warm or cool your drink down. Got active suspension on it, lower and raise. But yeah, this is it. A little bit bigger than the 3 Series. But it's a diesel, not a petrol this time. Leave a comment down below and tell me what you think. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to another day at d &J. It is now Thursday. Didn't finish the video off with anything my dad didn't yesterday. Obviously, what do you think to his new car? Do you like his new car, the BMW X6? I think it is pretty darn amazing. I love it, to be honest. Love a car that looks like that. Oh, love a fence that looks like that as well. Me and Anna here. 
Been here for about 45 minutes, done that bait just there. Looking at nice, sitting pretty. Working our way to the corner. We're getting so close to that corner, but when we get to a corner, it means we've got a corner post and we've got a 10 foot corner post here, aren't we, mate? So we're not looking forward to that because they're bloody ever and there's only two of us. Yesterday we had Jordan over helping over there. Not today, it's just there's two big boys right here. So I think what we'll do, magic fingers. And there we have another bay. And got a little slight difference, slight change here, guys, about what we're doing next. Let me just show you and explain. So this tree is sort of in our way now, look, because a six foot bay finishes here and we're running up the side of that extension there, say around about there, just past it. We're going to run all the way down and this is all in the way. This neighbor wants it gone. This customer wants it gone. And this neighbor wants this gone. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of it. It wasn't in the original quotation, so we're going to sort all of that bit out. But the plan is to basically chop all of this off, take this away, take that out with a digger, or take it down as low as possible. Because again, we don't want the bank going, but this customer, this neighbor, sorry, definitely wants it gone because it's rotting his deck in. And no one was really sure of who wants, um, sorry, whose tree it was. But all customers, all neighbors agree, oh, no one wants it. So let's get it gone. It's a shame about the birds. I know what you're going to say in the comments, and I do agree with you. It's a good nesting ground for them, but. If three customers don't want it there, it's got to go. So what we're going to do now, we're going to wait for dad to get here with a dig off. So it's all hands on that tree because it's a big job. Look at it. It's not small. It's quite thick. Roots are big. But this is what we're going to do now. We're having a custom bay here just to fill in this wall. So this wall is nice and protected for the customer. We're going to start our post here. It's going to be a 12 foot post and it's going to go this line just here so this fence is going to follow that mortar line there which is around about seven foot for this neighbor and then six foot bay is going to run out so we're going to have a 12 foot post almost the same size as that guy so it's going to be around about three gravel boards give or take maybe four but it's going to be a 12 foot post it's going to look very nice to be honest but this is where we're going to start we're going to start digging we're going to start cracking on but look at the fence from there not looking too shabby so start digging our hole guys and we just want to show you all Here's our pencil mortar line. See our fence down there? See the mortar line? Follow that mortar line. Down there, look. I better zoom in for you. So there it is. Mortar line in the middle of the screen. There's the mortar. Oh, I've lost it now myself, sorry. Mortar line. Third time, look at Follow it. Follow it. There it is, we're following. And we're following it right on the end. Just there, gonna line up pretty good, if we do say so ourselves. So we've been using the digger, just to dig away at the ground, may as well. And now we're just tidying it up, getting it nice and level. Because we know finished level is this drain here. So we're gonna get our gravel board nice and low. So when all of this is dug out and done with whatever's happening to it, our gravel board is still below ground. So whoever's doing the landscaping, if it's us, if it's someone else, they can work up to our gravel board. Like we all say, guys, start with the boundary and then it makes it a little bit easier for when you're doing your landscaping. So we're going to make sure our gravel board is below, which you can see definitely below a good, probably four inches, maybe even five inches, probably four though, for being honest. Next for us, they got a hole there. We've rang the office. They're going to bring us a couple 12 foot, a few more gravel boards so we can continue. But first, these customers looking after us too, too well. They've got us a bacon and egg cob. They've got us drinks right there. We very much appreciate it. So we'll have this whilst we're waiting and then crack on. Good morning. It's Thursday morning and we are on Mighty White. Yes, we're on a maiden voyage. We're just trying it out. It's come back from crane test something wrong with it so me and jordan are out trying it out we'll see how we get on today but yeah we're gonna go and do a grab now we've just done three bag drop off with it not really quite happy with it i've rang the people who did the crane test on it one of the sensors isn't right still but yeah let's go and do that grab and see how we get on with it there we have it mighty white first grab magic fingers to get this gone there we have it all gone customers has to leave a little bit of soil and you know, can make a plant a bed down at the bottom but 
on to the next. Thank you, as Jordan said, her debut grab. Yeah, it went really well. Got to get used to some controls. Um, it's a lot faster, give it that, but some of the levers aren't, so we're going to have to get used to it. That's the lights. Use the middle oh, name. Levers. But yeah, that'll come with time. I think just, just take your time with it. But yeah, so far, so good. Apart from, we're not sure what they've done with all these sensors on it. But yeah, on to the next. So this is the next one, guys. Jordan's gonna have a go on this one. We'll just push this gate back if we can, or open it. We'll get him to grab some of this first, then we'll put this gate back. So yeah, Jordan's gonna have a go on this one. That's it, we just swept the remainder off. Slug these boards back up. I'm gonna put these pallets back over here so it's nice and neat. We've got a little watcher and all. Look at this fella here, look, he's been watching us. So yeah, that on the back, on to the next. We did one more grab, got that on, just tipped it off. Now we're gonna head back to the yard because I believe we need to take a tree out for Steve with the grab, uh, not with the grab, with the digger which is on site. So next time you see us, We'll be on side. Quick pit stop. Hey, <laughs> Custis! <laughs> Look what Steve is missing out on. Oh, Why yeah. are they regular? Uh, don't know. <laughs> don't large do wagon, <laughs> large coffees. Reds don't do large. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get these drank, a quick break, and then we'll fly over to Steve. Now, if you can hear me out of breath, it's because I'm out of breath. So, I do apologise. But the plan is to have four gravel boards on this one, a six foot panel there. Got to make this panel on site because of the guttering right there. So we've got to make this panel on site. Got the four gravel boards. Reason we're going for four gravel boards. One. Sorry, I can't breathe. <laughs> right, come on, breathe. We needed three gravel boards to retain all of this in here. We need one gravel board, the customers asked for anyway, so that when it rains, it doesn't splash onto the panel. So that's the reason for the four. Six foot panel there. That's all gonna have a custom panel. That's all gonna be sorted. But don't worry about that right now. Ants just finishing this hole. But yeah, it's been hard, guys. It's been hard. I'll be lying if it hasn't. But we'll get it in there. So I don't expect to see a panel in there, but we'll time lapse this bit here. So we've just been speaking to the customer about what they want and what their plan is. So again, six foot in there. So the neighbors have got privacy. This customer's got privacy. And then we've dropped it down a gravel board and then gone with, the, gone with the nature of the ground as well. And now there'll be a six foot panel in there to that shoulder right there. Dropping it again, another gravel board, six foot panel. So we're going in like one and a bit increments of droppage. So one and four inches, one and five inches. Again, we'll probably do the same with this. It might be a little bit different. But going off where they land is probably going to be the same. We'll start digging. We'll get this next bay in. We've got to slide that bay in. We've got to make that panel on site. I don't know how we're going to slide that in because obviously it's quite tall. But we'll find a way. Where does a wielder's a way? We'll get this one in with the magic fingers because there's not much to show you because we can't put a panel in really. But we're going to do it with these. So then guys, me and Ant have had a change of plan. We were going with two gravel boards and a panel here, a six foot panel. But we've decided against that and we've gone for three gravel boards and a panel. Reason being, when you see that bay there, and then look directly across, you've got one, two, three, and a panel. So me and Ant thought, you know what, we'll emulate that one there, here. So at least it runs in line and it looks symmetrical from here to there. That was a plan anyway, weren't it, mate? So now it's a post going for a 10 foot post because we've got five foot, six foot, seven foot, eight foot going for a 10 foot post there nicely to the shoulder. And then we've got a drop round about there, drop round about there, 
drop round about there. That's the plan. So we'll get this post in right now. And I believe I just missed the clicky fingers for last time, but oh well. And there we have our post sitting pretty, sitting nice. I'm happy with this. Work our way down to the corner tomorrow and rip that stump out. But it's looking good. We're tired today though, aren't we, mate? Absolutely knackered. Absolutely knackered, 100%. That didn't even make sense, but you know what? That's how tired we are. But when you have a look at it, I'm starting to take some good shape now. But yeah, that is it from us. Not really feel much for today, this Thursday, but tomorrow we'll make up for it. We'll get some good time that us in, get, get some good progress in on this fence. Uh, from me and Nant, that's another day at DJ. We'll see you in the morning. Change of plan, just wired a new compressor in. I'm going to show you, uh, everyone was moaning about a compressor. In. Now nah, we've got a proper one. Yeah, the compressor broke the other week. No, the other day, sorry. The compressor broke the other day. So that's been wired in, that's three phase now. The other day, backboard fell off the van, so I've ordered parts for this. I'm gonna fit this. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be digging the tree out for Steve. Jordan's got a bit of a job tomorrow. He's digging some, some post signs out. So we'll see if he'll video that for us. But yeah, let me fix that. There it is. Let me fix that tailboard. So when Stevie comes back, we can put the tailboard back on. Here we have it. There you go there. Two of these, 68 pounds. Two of these, that's a joke. I don't know if anyone can get them cheaper for next time. Well, I'm gonna do, drill them out, and I'm gonna put some self tappers in. And then I'm gonna put my sign back on. Yeah. Drill them out, screw them on. Hopefully it'll stop on. That's all I've done. Ground them off in the end, so be really fast. I hope that's going to last. Just got to put the sign back on there. So clean this up, put the sign back on, and that's it done. On to the next job. Final job of the day. I haven't got a techist to do it. I must be tired. <laughs> that block up there. If you look, the block grabs there. You can't see it, but the van's part there, and the keys are all, all the way over the other side. So I think tomorrow we'll get the block grab and we'll lift it on. Let's clip it on because the roadstone's coming tomorrow. Yeah, we're all locked up. The three amigos are here. So that's another day at... <laughs> See you in the morning. Good morning. It's Friday morning. Yes, Friday. That time of week everyone loves. It's a Friday, Fat Friday. We're going to be joining everyone today later, but first... I'm on Big Red. Yeah, I'm on Big Red. It's not because uh, Mighty White's broke or anything. It's because there's no work today for Mighty White. Yeah, so I'm on Big Red. We're full of bags. So we have got bag deliveries to do. Then we've got a small grab to do. Get rid of that. And then we're up to Stevie's job to take a, a mammoth of the tree stump out. The lads are Jordan and Jordan, the JJs, are going out to do a post ripper for GNS signs. Uh, then they're going to be joining Stevie up on the, the mammoth. Horrible, horrible fencing job. Horrible fencing job. Yeah, it's looking amazing. It's horrible day, horrible. So yeah, they're going up there to do that. Then everyone is going to be jumping on that job. But yeah, what I'm doing now, drop these bags off, do the grab, and then I'll be joining them on the fencing job to take that mammoth of a tree stump part. Yes, so let's get to it. So we're here on this job, we can't move this car. We're gonna put them down there along there. So let's get them off. Can we talk about, can we talk about me and you? Can we talk about, can we talk about the truth? I wanna know. So, I'm in the right position. Look at that. I won't be taking them off here. Look how close that is. Let's get up and show you how. So yeah, I can't put the chain on and lift the bags up, so I'm gonna have to pull forward, readjust. They're gonna have to have them here. Well, it's close enough. It's, I think they're working in the back. They wanted them there, so it's gonna have to go here. Now they're at the back of the truck. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to pull me as far as can reach. 
That's all them dropped off. I put number all the way at the front there, get from a better angle. Yeah, so you can see them from the road because there's some nice big houses down here. And this is a through road. So yeah, lots of people will see it if they look by and get the aggregates from so it. So now that one is done and completed. We've got to grab away two bags of our screen topsoil. So yeah, Colton way. Was it the voice? Was it the fire burning in me? That one's all done. Nice little two bag drop off. You'll see them on the left hand side as we drive out, just in front of the caravan. There we go, we're just in sight now. Yep, yeah, we'll reverse that here. The hazard's on, let people know. And then we'll get that grab done, and then it's over to Steve. Yeah, we'll just check where this next one is. Dean Saxton, the people that's doing my bathroom and ensuite. So yeah, let's have a look where that is. So I know where that one is. So we'll stick on another time lapse. But let's head over there. I've been I've pulled up and he hasn't done us no favours. Let's just have a look. The skip's in the way. Yeah, the skip's in the way, so we'll get this grabbed best we can. <laughs> I've just been talking to myself for about five minutes, thinking I'm talking to you guys. Right, what the plan is, they're going to get the skip shifted. Dean reckons there's more than one grab, but it's not cost effective for him to put it all on this grab. I might as well get Mighty White, get it all on that. They've got a digger coming as well. We've got some footings to take out. So probably gonna end up grabbing that one on Monday, but I'll have a word of him. For once it gone, I can get it gone, but that skip definitely needs moving. So heading over to my house now, have a chat with him and see what his plan is. Look at this lot, that's, that's an auger. see it and put your speed up get to it on that crane there look yeah it's got an auger put some posts in with it but yeah that's an auger not these little petrol ones yeah let's head up to mine or see these so just spoke to Dean it's a plan he's gonna drag all the footing stuff around as well so he's gonna have a bit more muck and we'll make a full load out of it for mighty wide it just, it's not cost effective for him. Grab a bit on this and go back with this, go and grab a bit more. He may as well have one full load, mighty wide, reaches a bit better. The skip is there, we can grab over the skip as well. Because that's got seven meters reach, if we work out seven meters reach. Leave a comment down below. It was seven, wasn't it, in the earlier video? This one's five from the side of the body, this reach five meters. But I've ranked Stevie now. We're gonna head over to the horrible fencing job. But looks good. Go and take that mammoth of a tree stump out with a digger, and then we are lifting the digger on the back of this and we're taking it over to another job, providing I can get that tree stump out. But fingers crossed, I haven't jinxed myself and we get it out. So next time you see me, good boy, Steve. Friday, you've already saw what my dad's been up to today and we may have transitioned because maybe he is about to turn up I'm not sure how this is going to be working yet guys, but you're going to be seeing me Finn and Ant do some fencing 
and does have a DJ top coming. His is just still in the wash and still wet. So but we're gonna get him looking nice and professional in around about an hour's time. But yeah, it's fencing time. Home stretch, onto the home stretch guys. Just waiting for my dad as well to come so we can get this route out. Let me show you this route, this bad boy. Now what we're gonna do, it's got no movement. Oh, it's gonna be a big boy, but uh, we'll get it out. But as you can see, string lines up, fences up, coming down in height now as well, guys. Obviously we'll be leveling off somewhere around about here, probably after this one, I would say, guys. But yeah, looking not too shabby. So we'll set you up for a time-lapse. We'll crack on. So we've got a six with six to go in here. I don't know how we're gonna slide that in. I ain't got a clue. It's gonna be a little awkward, I think, because, because it's so tall, why do you? Well, I don't know. Might have to stand on the digger, I'm not sure. It's gonna be awkward to get a panel up there. That's higher anyway, the panel's not gonna go that high. It's gonna go like to the top of the post, so imagine a straight line across. But yeah, happy with that so far. See the height difference in those two bays there. You can see how that bay is higher now. Not than this, but they're running level, but it's higher than that one. We're aiming for that height. See how we're running across. I'm not sure how we're going to do that because we haven't got a laser level on us. 100% sure, but I think it's, it's this drop. This is the drop that's going to level off. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. I'm not going to lie to you guys, but we're going to find a way to get it done. So we're just digging the trench now. Hey, don't bash people up, we're doing all that. We're not that kind of firm. Are we not? No. Oh, see. People need to bust, mate. That must be a concrete side thing. It must happen often in the concrete side. Tell me about it. Why don't you know? Have they been scratching you? I've been fighting a 10 foot post. Oh. Fun and games at d &J. But Dad's turned up. Dad and Finn are going to battle this here. I'm not sure what's happening with that yet. The plan was to dig it out, but we'll find out. Me and Aunt are just digging this trench. Dad's just helped us all find out what the heights are and shown us a cool little technique with, you see the mark on that post there, mark on that post there, and then he's found a datum point down there, and then we've measured up and found the exact height. Again, hopefully that runs level now. That's the plan anyway, guys. If it's wrong, whose fault was it, Ant? <laughs> so yeah, but uh, we needed to get two inches out here and then we can get three gravel boards, a five foot panel. That should match to that height at eight foot, running across at eight foot over there. That's the plan. It's a little window, so I apologise if you can hear it. That's what it's looking like. It's going to be running at that level now, all the way, to match up. Hopefully, <laughs> and I say hopefully, spiritly, I'm praying it matches up. It's got to be getting close to dinner time, because it's uh, going to treat the lads to chip shop. So, I'm getting a little peckish myself, so I think we'll be having that soon. I think we've got one more bay in us, and then we'll have something to eat. Jordan and Finn making uh, digging holes and getting ready for the fencing now. So they do that. Me and Ant are just going to unload the 17 plate 
and then I'm going to head to the chipper because I've ordered this all a kebab. So we'll have that kebab. Looking forward to it, aren't we, mate? We're going to have half an hour. We're actually going to have a break today. I think we deserve it. We've definitely deserved it. Let's have a look as if you was walking around. Very nice. Not too shabby. Indeed. We'll have this. Catch back up. Said we'd catch up after. I'm not sure we'll be able to do much work after this. Lads can't stop, can they? They're sitting there ready. I've told them. Come and grab it. It's worth it. So we've got that stump part, cut it down to a level. We're gonna leave it in because it's gonna disturb the ground. We have got digger on. Now we're gonna go and do another job at the Allsworth job. Put cable in for James. So next time you see us, it'll be me and Jordan on site with James. We're gonna nip back to the yard, our cable detector, and we're gonna take a couple of shovels as well. Professional struggler might be there, so we'll catch up with him as well, see how he's getting on, if he's still there, if not. We'll grab the stuff over to Allsworth. Catch up with him, we'll catch him. We just see his feet. Hey, Dad, how you Look at that, Lord. Just see his feet, look. You're going to have to go and avoid, aren't you? Go on, mate. Tell, tell, tell us all how you're going. Struggling, tell YouTube. Mate. Struggling, mate. Struggling. <laughs> <laughs> the struggle is struggling. What a surprise. He's there, Lord. He's there, Lord. Look, you see well, him. Worry, he's, he's, he's smiling. He's smiling. It's all good. That bit's wrong up there. We were saying that bit's wrong. We could have got a spare bit for something else. We'll have to build on that. Yeah. We should have some breaks. Ivan, a star again, centres the part out. We've got the part for it straight away, no questions asked. Yeah. And we've got the struggler in to struggle on and fit it. The next time you see me, I will be on the Allsworth job. I've just come and see Chris to make sure he's all right. Probably won't see him again now. He'll probably be gone by the time I get back. We're having delivery of roadstone. We need roadstone. I was meant to go and collect some, but which we have been too busy to get that grab out. Jordan's going to go and get the cable detector and a couple of shovels. So next time you see us, we'll be on the Allsworth job. And we're back. Me and Jordan are getting the digger off. I'm going to show you what we're up to. We brought the horrible weather with us. All we're doing is uncovering the electric cable. We found the electric cable in the first place. I brought my cat. So, customer's already done this for us. Zoom out, customer's already done this for us. The cable is over there. So, we brought a cat scanner. There she is there. All the way back. So, we'll dig a trench in there. And then all he wants us to do is find that cable. and dig around it so they can do a connection on it and connect this building up. It's looking good, guys. It is looking good. So yeah, Jordan's just over there now, hooking the digger on. You can just see the digger. We're gonna get that digger off and we'll start digging. dig us off we'll track it down over there it's, it's grown on it it has definitely grown over there just underneath that scaffolding that's where the job is so let's get digging is it okay if i'm the same i'm catching feelings from all the dealings am i astray what do you say how are you feeling is it the same Hope you're not planning to waste my time To my surprise that was her reply Now your vibe So we found an old land drain Perforated holes in it What they want, they want to put a cable through here and down there We found the cable now and that's the old drain If you remember back, God it's got to be six months ago now When we did the footings There was a drain there which connected up and ran down the building and underneath the house and then we picked it up over there so what we're going to do smash this old drain out it's redundant now dig down the side then loosen it either side of this cable so we can expose this cable so it can come and connect it so that's the plan anyway and hopefully we're not going through that cable she 
just a fact that I just let her know. Now we're together, it's a different mode. We getting crazy in a different road. I love the fact I didn't let her go. She loves the fact that I just let her know. Now we're together, it's a different mode. We getting crazy in a different road. That's it. That's all they've asked for. 750 deep, one and a half wide, one meter wide, or one and a half meter long, one meter wide, whatever way you want to say it. Through there, under there, and it's taking it down there. Now, while we're here, we're going to backfill. Can you remember the track we put in? Just going to backfill that and track over it while the diggers here. So our job is done. We've filled it in. This is all going to be a drive anyway, so it's all going to be landscaped. But yeah, just filled it in along there. Let it naturally sink topsoil if it needs it or it will be dug out as a drive that's completed over there for when they come and connect the electric up so that's all done so yeah let's get the digger back on Don't know how much of that video you've seen of us loading it up. The phone died, went up and black screen. So hopefully if he's managed to get a bit of footage out. It's all right, sorry, I'm just uh, watching this bloke come down the middle the side of me here, like he's like fighting. Little red fiesta look. He wants to get squashed. Is it? Yeah, he definitely wants to get squashed though. Yeah. Yeah, he's not he's not giving me an inch. That's just dangerous. Yeah. Obviously he's got he's managed to get one car in front. He must be in a hurry to get home like we all are but yeah just in time before the weather comes it is absolutely starting to nail it down uh professional strugglers still at our place he's uh, struggling on i think he's onto the service now he's just ran me about some oil where the best place to get it from stevie is struggling on on that job it's really it's a bit of a gruel i think the weather's uh turned for the worse where he is so hopefully he's uh, videoed some stuff for that but yeah me and jordan are going to go back to the yard now and take this digger off and then let's finish our day off. So we'll see you back in the yard. So she's done, brakes done, couple of bolts done, nipple done. We've put the mirror back on, had a service, and we are good to go. The lads are back, Jordan's finished, Finn's finished for the day. Who's in tomorrow? Me. Are you in tomorrow? He's in tomorrow. I'm not in tomorrow. Stevie's back, he's completed the fencing job. It was a mammoth of a job. You're gonna see dad's clips first, so you're gonna see all this, and now you're gonna see the fencing in a second basically so stay tuned because it's bloody good so yeah it's finished this is not ideal so we're back guys it's still trying to rain there's a few of us here finn's here as well he's just grabbing something but hopefully you can see <laughs> These panels are all lining up now across the back. There's had to be a slight alteration. I'm just gonna show you now and explain. So we're doing two level, two level. It's, it's actually two level. It's the one level there and the one level there. So a big one and a small one level running across. So all of these across the back are gonna be level, running across level, and it's gonna have a slight step running level up level. That's the plan guys, it's going to look good. So I'll tell you what we'll do, we're going to time lapse this whole thing here and stick the camera right here. You can see us get wet, get rained on, but you can see us complete this job. Well, I'm not sure if I've got a, make, if I've got a panel to make the panel. If I have, it's bloody going in. So let's crack on. She my do or die, my bona fide, my up when I'm down, she's always beside me, she makes me feel alive, I won't deny, her love for me is real and kind of suicide, she's not the same, she's such a rare type, she's far from plain, at least in my eyes. She said if I cross her, I'll be in the grave Oh, you under attack, but yeah, that's still my babe I love the fact I didn't let her go She loves the fact that I just let her know Now we're together, it's a different mode We're getting crazy in a different world 
We getting crazy in a different role I love the fact I didn't let her go She loves the fact that I just let her know Now we're together, it's a different mode We getting crazy in a different role Guys, we are almost done, pretty much done. Um, it's been a super long one. It's 7 p.m. now on Friday. It's me and Jord and Finn. We've stayed to get everything done. Just a custom, few custom panels to do. Let me just remind you what this was looking like five days ago. As you can see, conifers everywhere, shrubs everywhere, all around the perimeter, crazy. But if we have a look now, guys, this is what it's looking like. Just need a panel to there to fill in. Gonna be getting rid of all that rubbish. Getting rid of all that greenery. Custom panel down there just to fill in. Not too shabby indeed, I think. Not too shabby indeed. Very happy with this one. Can't wait to clear all of this up and then you get a proper sense of what it will look like. Can't wait. But you're gonna have to come back on Wednesday, on Wednesday's video for that, because I'm gonna film this bit on Monday. So we've got something to watch on Wednesday. Me and everyone at DJ, I wanna say a massive, massive thank you for watching the video. Hopefully I will see you on Wednesday. If you're brand new around here, consider subscribing. Like the video if you can, please. Comment down below because we do appreciate that. And from me and everyone at DJ Projects, we'll see you guys. I was going to say in the morning, but I won't. I'll see you guys next week.